Hey everybody, it's Faith from Fire Science here. I hope everybody's well. All right, round two, January 2022. Taurus, you are next up. If it resonates with you, cool. It's your free will to whatever you choose to do with the message given by the cards. If you choose to do anything at all, it's your journey, not mine. Just throwing down cards. If it doesn't resonate, that's okay too. You can check your moon rising, even if you're signing readings, if you think you might want something that might resonate a little bit better. Keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid. All things can be vice versa. Might even play out from the perspective of a cross watcher. And our dear friends, cross watchers are always welcome at the fire sign tarot table. Everybody's always welcome at my table, and I appreciate y'all stopping by to say hello. Thanks for coming down and hanging out. If you're new here, think you might want to vibe and hang out some more and stuff, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you know when I upload. If you're returning, welcome back. I missed your face. Thanks for coming back. Bye. Anybody can hit the like button at any time. It all helps the channel. It all helps if it is to circulate to those who might need the messages. Never make a life-altering decision based on a tarot reading. I don't care whose cards there, mine or somebody else's. And if it's not your story, just leave the cards on the table. Walk away. We'll try again next time. One more good shuffle. And we're going to get them down for course for round two. Oh, come on now. Come on now. Better. All right. The moon could be a Pisces you're dealing with. Strength could be a Leo. Hanged man. Seven of Cups. Options. Hmm. All right. Hmm. First major out was the moon. That is a Pisces card. All right. Talk to me. Why the moon? Mm. King of Swords. Judgment reversed. Aye. Mm, Taurus. Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. Could be dealing with an air sign. They could have air in their chart. Specifically Gemini. If it's yours, take it. If not, leave it on the table. one for emotions, are they? Knight of Wands reversed. Not one for action, either. The Great Thinker. You don't know where their head's at. That's what you're in the dark about. You don't... Okay, you know where their head's at. You know where their heart's at. Maybe you could be having head heart issues. Maybe you don't know where your head or your heart's at. Maybe you're the one who's in and out. Maybe you're the one who can't make a judgment call. Because you don't have enough information. Alright, how you feel about them is strength. Talk to me about strength. 
Talk to me about strength. Walls are up. You're holding back. Or you feel like they're holding back. Nine of Wands, Nine of Wands. Very walled off, holding back. Trying to avoid conflict. Five of Wands reversed. What you think of them as the Ten of Pentacles reversed. Strength came back up. Financially unstable. Maybe that's what they're holding back about is their financial instability. Page of Cups reversed. Queen of Cups reversed, Ace of Cups. God, they want to hand you that cup, but they can't. They're not. All right, intended actions toward them, Eight of Cups reversed. Talk to me about the Eight of Cups reversed. Talk to me about the Eight of Cups reversed. Poor communication, poor choice of words, poor choice of words. I feel like a poor choice of words is going to end this. Poor choice of words. King of Pentacles. One more. Eight of Pentacles reversed. Can stop putting effort into it. Fool. Magician. What? Manifest new. Leap of faith. Manifest new. Good Lord. Poor choice of words. Poor choice. I could just. It's like resonating like a gong. Poor choice of words. Could be dealing with an Aries. Could be dealing with a Scorpio. There's two Aries cards here. Manifest new, new start, new beginning, leap of faith. Two upside down, eight. This is going to be a throw down. Okay, why the king of cups? Ten of swords. He doesn't wear his heart on his sleeve, does he? Poor choice of words is going to end this. Or at least bring an end to the pain. I feel like an attempted return is not going to go well. Nine of Wands. Nine of Wands. The Star. They're guarded because they're still healing. Six of Wands. King of Cups reversed. They're not showing emotion. They see you, you see them, but they're not showing emotion. Their heart's guarded. How they feel about you is the Five of Cups. Ace of Swords reverse, Justice.
High Priestess, you quiet too. You quiet too. They feel like you're going through something. You don't want to start something new. You're going through something. But they think of you as the tower reversed, Queen of Pentacles. Wheel of Fortune. The rebuilding of the tower. Wanting to rebuild. Rising up out of the rubble. Finding your self-worth. Allowing the wheel to spin. Seven of Swords reversed. Honest. If you're in separation, they want you to return. The question is, return to what? They're not giving up the cup. They can't right now. They're not ready. They don't feel worthy of you. Alright, talk to me about this two of swords reverse for their intended actions towards you. Oh wow. Five of Pentacles reverse, seven of Pentacles, Moon reversed. Six of Pentacles, Reverse Two of Swords. Wow. It's the willingness to invest, but knowing that they can't match you. They can't match it. They can't match it. This is like financial BS. Somebody feels like they're not good enough for the other person. Poor choice of words. This is going to end badly because of a poor choice of words. I just, I just keep hearing that. A poor choice of words. I don't know if this is your willingness to take a leap of faith toward them and it just comes out wrong. Poor choice of words. Why the Page of Pentacles? Knight of Cups. Oh, now they want to give the cup. The sun. Give me more and more on this ten of swords. Two of Pentacles, Nine of Swords. I could have said it differently. I could have said it differently. I could have said it differently. Poor choice of words.
It's going to get worse before it gets better. Real shaky friend zone, I'm telling you that right now. It's going to get worse before it gets better with this person. But there is hope. There is always hope. Might not be time yet for the seed to grow. They're not ready to take the cup. But this business is unfinished because you are bound. Don't lull over the decision. Because this isn't over. It's not time yet. Taurus, it's not time yet. It's not time to invest. Walls have to come down. This is a pause. You have to have all nine cups. Somebody has to have all nine cups before they can take the last cup. Your soulmates. There's confusion because somebody's not ready to take a cup. You need distance between you. Distance yourself from it. Distance yourself from it. It's not time yet. Don't lull. Regeneration. Forty-six. Four plus six is ten. Things must end before new things can begin. Oh my gosh, we're not taking that many. Your dreams need a practical plan. Nothing is set in stone. Let's read regeneration first. I'm being told to look at the bottom, soulmates. There you go. Bunch of soulmate cards, Joe. The devil was here twice. The lovers was here. Ain't a doubt in my mind. Ain't a doubt in my mind. Number 41, 4 plus 1 is 5. 5 is the card of transitions. This is a transition. This is a transition. Alright, number 46. The world is based on connections and relationships. No matter what loss has occurred in the past or even now, death and endings are only illusions. There is life after death, love after loss, and in this moment, you are radiating the regenerative life force energy that makes you irresistible to love in all forms. Now is the time when you will see evidence of this new emergence. Can you feel it? Love is rising up to greet you. Number 41, soulmates. Consider love in the deepest sense. Love so powerful that you will never be the same, regardless of how long, how long your relationship lasts. Consider friendships and romantic bonds so compelling that they overwhelm you with gratitude or break you open so you will finally claim who you were meant to be. Even a companion animal reminds you that it is you who is being rescued and healed. Pay attention, for you are in the presence of a soulmate, come to guide you home to the real you. Wow. Wow. Your dreams need a practical plan. New moon in Taurus. Sorry, full moon in Taurus. Wow. Must be something there, full moon in Taurus. Hmm? I don't question it, I just read. Sometimes you need to weave a bit of magic, and sometimes you need to be practical, and sometimes you need to find a combination to the two. This card suggests that this is where you are now. You need to use the laws of attraction to draw in what you want by imagining it, expecting it, welcoming it. But you need to balance that with taking down-to-earth steps toward your goals. 
This isn't about wishing on the moon and hoping for the best. It's about making something like a list of bullet points about how to achieve your dreams. If you're asking about money, this card heralds a change of financial fortunes depending on both your past actions and what you're expecting and therefore attracting. Nothing is set in stone, mutable moon. Nothing is set in stone, not even these cards, guys. It doesn't have to go down like it says it's going to go down. Taurus, I suggest you watch your words. Oh my gosh, mutable moon. Ah, it was right there. Okay. Mutable is all about change. Shape-shifting, even. That something is still developing. This card indicates that something is indeed changing, and there's room for maneuver. So take it as a sign that the situation you're asking about is far from finalized. If you're not happy with the current state of play, that's marvelous. It means you can still change the course of the outcome. However, there's also a sense that the situation could perhaps be a little unstable. For some, this is a great news because you can still influence it. Others will struggle with the uncertainty, but should stay a little bit longer. Either way, nothing is set in stone yet. Taurus! Just throwing that out there. Alright, this has been your round two for January 2022. Thank you for stopping by. Peace, love, and light to you. Be blessed. And I will catch you next time around.